Hey, Heather here. Thanks for stopping by my channel to color. If you're new here, you might consider subscribing and hit the little bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Today, we are going to be coloring this adorable Lily of the Valley image called Two Little Rabbits. I know there's only one, so I'm going to call it Bunny Pot. I'll go ahead and put a link to everything I use down in the description box in case you would like to pick something up. So here is a quick view of everything I'm going to be using today. I have a clipboard to tape my image down on, some painter's tape to tape my image. My image is printed on some Arches 140 pound watercolor um, cold press paper. On, and I did use a laser printer for that, so I'll go ahead and put a link to the laser printer also down in the description box in case you would like to um, pick up a laser printer to print out your watercolor images. I'm going to use a 24 Winsor & Newton portable palette. I got a little ceramic dish there to mix and paint in, and then I'm going to end up using my number 6 silver black velvet brush to paint with. I have a paper towel to wipe off my brush and then a couple of containers of water. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start by getting our paper wet. I went ahead and just dipped my brush into some clean water and I'm just going very carefully around the entire image and I'm adding some water to my paper. You want your paper to look shiny, not dripping wet, but I want my paper to be just a little bit shiny. Sometimes it'll dry a little bit and I'll go back and add a little bit more. And if I get too much water in one spot, I'll dry my brush and then use my brush to pick up the excess water so it's not a big puddle on there. So now I just picked up a little bit of some Krillian blue and I'm just dabbing it around on the edge of that water and I'm allowing the water to draw the paint around in the little circle or the outline I drew on there. If I miss a spot, I carefully go back and I add a little bit more wherever I want it to go. I'm gonna give it a quick blast with my heat tool and if I dry it from the middle out, it tends to dry a little bit flatter. And now I'm just going back in with another coat of that blue paint and darkening it up right next to my image. This will give it a nice little kind of shadow effect around the entire thing and make it look really pretty. And then I um, went ahead and washed my brush off and I just have some clean water on my brush and I'm going along the edge of that paint and kind of dabbing it so that it will run out into the areas that I want it to and it won't have that harsh line on there. All right, so I went ahead and I wandered off and I let it dry and I tried out a couple of colors to see what color I want to do my um, flower pot and I decided on burnt sienna and Indian red and I just mixed a little bit up there in my um, porcelain palette so that I'll have some to paint my image with. I went ahead and got the pot wet with some water and again you want it to be shiny and then I'm just going in and dabbing that color all the way around and adding it on to, as my base layer for my pot. And while that's drying a little bit, I went ahead and I mixed up a second coat. So I added one um, s little swoosh of Indian red and then I added a couple swooshes of burnt sienna. And now I'm going in and dropping that underneath the little rabbit and along the edge of the pot so that it will give it a little bit of darkness. And then it's got that cute little highlight area there in the middle part. Then I wandered off some more and I let that dry. And I'm coming back and I mixed a little bit more of my Indian red in there and I'm getting it wet along the edges. I don't want the, the paint to go all the way in so wherever I drop my water is where it's going to bleed out into. And I'm just dropping that along the edge and then a quick little line down the side there and I'm going to let it dry and it will have that nice little patch of um, highlighted area there in the middle. Next I want to work on my rabbit so I picked up some um, lamp black and I put that in my little palette up there and then I added a couple drops of water and then picked up some of that black to add to the water so it wouldn't be so dark. I don't want him to be to be black. I want him to be a light gray rabbit and bleed out into white so he looks like he's a white rabbit only he has some shadows on there so that it appears he appears white but he has some dark areas on there. So I'm adding my first coat of my um, black paint on there. I let it dry just a little bit, a um, couple of minutes, and then it's still wet. So I went in and I added a little bit more black to my mixed paint. And I'm going in and I just did one more coat on my rabbit. And then I used some water to soften the edges. And I kind of skip around. So now I'm filling in my little flower centers, and that was cadmium yellow. Um, you don't want to do any places that are right next to each other so that it gives it a chance to dry. So I kind of skip around or I wander off and then I come back and I add some more paint. So I'm here adding a little bit more paint to my rabbit and now I'm using just my dry brush to pick up some of that paint off of his face and kind of smooth it around. There was kind of a little puddle there and I didn't want the puddle so I picked it back up. And there it's dried. See how much lighter my rabbit is? 
And here we're going to do his little paws. And I'm going to try to be careful when I do the second paw so that I don't touch that wet paint on the pot because it's going to bleed up in there, which it did. So I'm just using my paintbrush to pick it up and I'll try to be carefuler the next time. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my leaves. For the leaves I've used sap green and I'm just going in and painting them with the paint that I mixed or I added to my palette there. And make sure that they go in between the flowers and the petals because there's some like background there and I just made it greenery. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to come in and I added some hookers green dark to my sap green. Just to add a little bit more um, some more dark color in there. I'm going in and adding that to my leaves to darken them up. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on my rabbit some more. So I'm getting my black paint wet and I'm going to add it to where I want some shadows on my ears. So I went along the back of his ears and then I'm just using some water to kind of soften that line so it's not so dark. Then I'm going to do the same thing for his paws and his face. I added a little bit and then I'm just using my water to soften the edges so it's not so um, got such a harsh line there. Then I decided I'd work on my little flower pot again. So I'm just going back in and I'm adding another coat for my shadows for my flower pot. And then I just use the water to soften the edges. It's all about drying. I let it dry and then I come back. So that is a Alizarian Crimson. And I'm kind of trying it out to see what I like on there. And I decided it was a little too purpley pink. So I added some cadmium red deep to that to give it a little bit more of a red tone. We're going to paint the inside of our ears and I'm dabbing up the extra water. And then I decided I'd go ahead and paint my flowers this color too. because so I got a little crazy with my painting and I got some green and blue on my flowers. I was going to leave them white, but since they have some paint on them, I'm going to go ahead and just paint them pink. And then I went ahead and added another dab of the Elysian, Elys I know I'm saying that completely wrong, the crimson color to um, my flower paint and I'm just darkening that up and then I wandered off and again I'm coming back after it dried and I'm using another coat to darken those flowers up. I want to get them pretty pink and then I'm going to go with, of course I went up there and added a little bit more to his ears to darken those up. I'm going to use some of my mixed paint that was the sap green and the hookers green dark for my ground. So I'm just adding that along the bottom and I was trying to fix the little spot underneath the pot where it came out. Um, I bled out from my brown on there. It didn't pick it all the way up, but I think it did a pretty good job. Then I went ahead and darkened up his eye with my lamp black and I'm going in here with some just hookers green dark to darken up underneath of my flower pot. And add some more pink to or some crimson to my flowers to darken up the centers. I didn't go all the way to the outside because I thought that that would make them look a little bit more interesting if they had some white in there. And then I'm just going to soften his ear line that I made with a little bit of water. I'm going to go in here and add some lines to my flower pot because I thought it was looking a little funny. So I mixed a little bit more paint and I'm just going to use my paintbrush to draw on some lines to make it a little bit more interesting. I think that makes it look really cute with the little lines on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some black going on here and I'm going to go in and add one more little small dab of that color onto my rabbit to darken him up just a tad bit more. Then I'll add a little bit of detail to his foot and I just actually left all those lines on there. And then I'm adding a few little streaks of grass to my ground to finish it up. Alright guys, so just like that you're completely finished. To peel the tape off you want to make sure and peel it away from your image and you want to make sure that it's completely dry so that you don't rip the paper. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to give it a quick fold. I use my bone folder to make sure it's um, got a nice crease and then you add the sentiment you want. Also available over at heathershobbyhavenclasses.teachable.com is a class using your Copic markers coloring the same exact image. It's super cute and I'd love to see you over there in class. I'll put a link to that down in the description box in case you would like to go check it out. If you'd like to see more photos or close-up photos of the card project we did today, make sure to head over to the store blog and I'll put a link to that down in the description box so you can easily access it. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video to hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure and do that and hit the little bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Right about now you should be seeing a screen that has a couple of videos I thought you might be interested in. If you are, just click on one and it'll take you straight there. If you have a question, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you or you can just say hi too. Otherwise, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!